Hey guys, it's Wendy here with Wendy's Plans and today I am going to show you how I'm planning things for my move in my Wonderland 222 planner. So guys, if you are interested in how I'm keeping everything straight, stay tuned. Okay guys, so in my Wonderland planner, um, we're going to go to the month of January. So my kids are actually moving out. My kids, I have one child and his girlfriend. They are moving out um, on the 20th. So Christopher and Emma are moving out. They're moving into their own apartment. And it will be in the same apartment complex that I am moving to. We're just going to be in separate buildings and in separate apartments. So there's a lot going on. It is getting them moved and me moved. So what I decided to do is in the, let me show you a blank one. In the, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. So in the Wonderland 222, you have a November review, which is at the end of the November. So it takes you through the month and you can do a review of what happened during the month. And then you can do an overview of what you want to happen for the next month. So I didn't know how I was going to use these until I started planning the move. So this is where I have been tracking everything. So... I put a list of things that I want to get done and when I want to get them done, which is also a running to-do list because I have not set up the movers and I have not got my rental insurance in place. I do have them here. It is like, for me, it is like a I'm running to-do list. So I know sometime on this page, I've got to have those two things done. Um, they will be done Monday. Hopefully, I will have time to get that done. Um, so, I have already called and canceled my storage unit um, for the end of February. So, when the movers come to pack my apartment up, they will swing by the storage unit, which is on the way to my new apartment. They will pick up everything that I've had in storage from the time we sold the house. And they're going to move it all to my apartment. At that point, guys... I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to keep it? Am I going to donate it? Am I going to trash it? Because I am not paying for a storage unit for another year. There you go. Um, I called our current apartment because the moving date changed after we gave notice to the apartment, which meant I had to the extend the lease through February. So I called to make sure that that had been extended because I needed to know in my head that I still had a place to live. So I called, yes, it. they did update the date and I am good to be in the apartment to February, through February. Um, so this coming week, I am going to help Chris and Emma pack. Um, we're going to go through some of the rooms that I have stuffed that... Um, I know I have duplicates of in storage or that I'm not going to use because I haven't used it while I've been here. So we're going to go through things and see if there's things they want before we donate that. And then I need to start packing some of my stuff. And I keep putting it down in my planner that I'm going to pack. And I don't do it. And I think the problem is I'm so afraid my stuff is going to get mixed in with their stuff. And so I've kind of put some of that off. But as we're going through this stuff um, the next week or so, I need to get some of my stuff packed and put in a separate room from theirs. Um, so in the third week, they will be moved. And so what I want to do is I want to have my office and my living room packed this week. Um, saying that, 
I still have to have stuff that I can film YouTube videos with. I still need to be able to access my office. So my computer and that kind of stuff. I'm talking um, all the stuff that I don't use on a daily, weekly basis. So all of that stuff needs to be packed. Um, then I'm going to go in and clean my office and my living room. Um, obviously when I leave, I will still have to vacuum those rooms. I will have to do other stuff, but I want the hardcore cleaning the baseboards, um, scrubbing the floors, that kind of stuff and making sure everything's dusted, everything's clean so that when the movers leave, all I have to do is vacuum and that's pretty much it. So that's going to be my third week. The fourth week, I will call my utility companies and let them know when to cut off the electricity in the current apartment. I will then go to my laundry and my closet and get that packed. I'm trying to put things in order that I can completely pack and it's not going to disrupt my life. And then I will clean everything. Now, the wash machine and dryer has to be pulled out before I can sweep and mop. But again, once the movers come in, it's a quick vacuum mopping, sweeping, that kind of thing giving the bathrooms a once over again and a once over in the kitchen so that I can move out. But everything that can be completely done, like when their room is completely emptied, that room's going to be cleaned. I don't have to go back in that room and do anything. So that's also where I'm going to store my boxes. So that's why I'm going to start this because I have to be out by the 15th of February is my move-in date. So here is where I have been tracking that. Um, the other thing that I have been doing is in my first quarter, I've got my moving to my new apartment and that I'm going to be on vacation this week because I need to get moved. So the other things that I have been tracking is I had to pay rent for January, but I also, because we're breaking the lease, I had to pay a termination fee to get out of the apartment. So I needed to make that, make sure that was paid. So that's been done. Um, I had on my list here to call the apartment, which is also on this list and call storage. I have done that. It is in my move here and that's why it's here because I've done it. So I'm listing it here when it's done and I'm checking it off. I want to make sure that I'm not losing anything and I'm going to be on time. Also, the instructions for um, my storage unit to get my um, not to be charged for another month. I've got the instructions off of that. So all of that is here. So this is where all of that is taking place. So in February, when I get to February what I will do is, you already see, I've already started. I will do a January review. And in that review, I'm going to list everything that I did not get, get done. So that I know what was left over from January. When we get to February, the first week of February, I want to have both baths and the kitchen packed. I can make sandwiches or whatever I need to do for a couple weeks. So I want everything packed in my kitchen and then I can clean and both bathrooms and, and the kitchen and make sure they're ready to move. Yes, I will have to use one of the bathrooms between here and moving. But again, one bathroom will be completely done. The other one is just mopping, sweeping, you know, really quickly washing out the bath and the um, cleaning, that kind of stuff. Not deep cleaning, because I will have already done that. Week two, I want to have everything in my bedroom packed so that it's cleaned and ready. Um, anything that doesn't have to stay in my bedroom, like I have a chair that can come out and be ready for the movers. It'll be an easy, you know, move for them. Um, I have plants in there that can come out and be in the living room where the movers can move them. I don't know if they'll move them, but they can go in my car. I want everything like that done. And then once the movers are done, 
um, because if you look at my February dates, this is going to be my first week, my second week. I'm out of the apartment here. The movers will be here, hopefully, on the 15th, if I can set that up. So this is really the last week that I can do anything because I'm going to be moved. So um, once the movers are done, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the apartment, see what needs to be cleaned so that I can get that done. Then I need to schedule a walkthrough with the apartment um, people to get out. Um, and then week three, movers are to pick up all of my stuff and go through um, the storage unit and pick up everything there. And then the rest of this time is going to be unpack, organize, clean, make sure the old apartment is clean and done and get everything donated that I need donated. So on the week that I'm off, I want all of that done. And then the thing that I like about this planner is that when I get to February review on February, I can say I'm in my apartment 100%. Everything's done. That is my goal. So guys, that is the way I am tracking my and planning my move. This is how I'm trying to stay organized for that. So if guys, if you're on the fence about this planner, I was very hesitant when I got it because of, let me go to a week. You've got your weekdays and then your weekend is stacked. I didn't think it was going to work for me. This is my own the go planner and I love it because I went from having this much room, which is my dailies and another page. You can see the size difference in this planner. Um, so I am loving the size because I can put everything that I need in here. Um, and I, it's just so many things in here that I love about this planner. So if you're on the fence, I didn't think I would use this. Give it a try, guys. You may find something you can use these pages for. But for me, this month, this has really come in handy because of me planning my move and guys i hope this has been informative and you like this i know it's just a quick video to tell you how i'm moving but guys until next time bye bye